This is part of the teardown for the best roof box. This is a public case study. This is an Amazon affiliate site that my friend Alex Cooper from WP Eagle, he's working on it. He's been publishing videos for months. The site's making money. He's sharing all the details. He's sharing exactly what he's doing and he let me tear it down. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the tools that are in the suite of tools with KW Finder. We'll be able to look at some of the keywords uh, that this site's ranking for. We're also gonna take a look at some of the backlinks and just a general overview of the data that you can get from tools like KW Finder. By the way, this is a part of a series. So I've looked at some of the content ex like specifically on this site. I've given uh, critiques and feedback and some of my observations as an expert on Amazon affiliate sites. My name is Doug Cunnington, by the way. I've been working on Amazon affiliate sites for years. And on this channel, we talk a lot about affiliate marketing, SEO, productivity, and so on. I also have a blog called nichesiteproject.com where I talk about all the same stuff. In fact, you can get a lot of the things that we're talking about, like the keywords. In fact, all the keywords that this site's ranking for, you can download over on my website. There's a link in the description and you know the information is readily available, but I'm just putting it into a package and sort of giving you some commentary about it as well. So this is the site we're looking at, but this is sort of focused on the tool KW Finder. I'm an affiliate by the way, so if you happen to purchase via my link, then I'll get a commission. I like the tool a lot though. It is the keyword research tool that I use. So what we're gonna do like right off the bat is just head over and see what kind of data we get from KW Finder when we put in best roof box. So this is for the whole domain for the US and we see that there are something like 88 keywords that it tells us here. Now the site ranks for way more keywords than that, but this is sort of a curated, like smaller list of some of the important ones. Cool part is you get this full competition analysis over here. So you get the whole top 10 results and it gives you a lot of information. You have the search volume, you have the position, which best roof box is ranking for, plus the KD, which is the keyword difficulty. In my experience, the KD from KW Finder is one of the most accurate difficulty metrics that you could find out there. It seems to take into account more of the data that is accurate for predicting actual rankings. So there's some other KD type stats out there, but I find that this seems to be a little more accurate from the keywords that I've been looking at. So you can do a few things here. You can navigate around and see what's going on. But what I'm going to do is say, look at best cargo boxes here. Well, we'll see some information. We'll see best roof boxes ranking like its homepage. So that's a little unusual. I wouldn't necessarily want that to happen. So what we're going to do is look at Subaru Outback Cargo Carrier. And you can click this little arrow here to search related keywords. So this will sort of like put it into another sort of set of functionality so you can find new keywords, very valuable. And what we'll do here, because we have 700 to look through, I'm gonna turn on the filter and I'm mostly interested in things that have best in it. Keywords that have the word best because that is a buyer's keyword, that means if someone searches for best and then a product name, they're probably in the market for such a product name and they're doing research. So I'm gonna set the filter and then we filtered from 800 down to 26. Well, 26 is way more manageable. And you can see a lot of these are in the green, but you'll notice that the KD number is not populated for some items. Well, if you click the little hour or the magnifying glass, then it'll Go ahead and populate it. So best cargo box for Subaru Outback has a KD of 19. The search volume is only 20, but people are looking for something so specific. And guess what? These products cost a few hundred dollars. So these are great keywords to go for. You'll notice some of them do have uh, the KD populated, but it's sort of shaded. It's a little bit muted. That means it's been a little while and you can simply click on that and it'll refresh and give another value. So this is a great way to find keywords to add directly to the site. Maybe if it's something that's already a little bit covered, you can go ahead and add the content to the existing post. If it's something that hasn't been covered at all, 
then you could add brand new content to it. So this is a great way to sort of navigate through KW Finder to come up with some more keywords to search for. However, the cool thing is KW Finder has a whole suite of products. We're gonna look at a few of them today. So SERP Watcher is an interesting one because you'll be able to search for and get the, I guess, tracking for where specific keywords are ranking for this website. So you have to put in the domain. So in this case, best roof box, we're gonna stick with the US. We're gonna search with uh, desktop devices. And what I'm gonna do is hop over to a CSV that I pulled. Again, you can download the CSV, no charge, just head over to my website. You gotta join the email list and I'm gonna send you some emails. You can unsubscribe at any time, but basically you could copy and paste them right in here and click start tracking. Then the data should be available in less than 30 minutes. So I'll have to come back in a little while. I didn't test this before, full disclosure. I thought it was going to give it to me a little faster, but it's going to have to pull some data. So stand by for that. Instead, we're going to hop over to the link miner. This is the back link sort of tracking situation here. So what we could do is just put in well, not that, that's the wrong stuff. We gotta put in the domain name, not all the keywords. So you put in the domain name and I like to just make sure that it's only the domain dot, dot com or dot whatever your TLD is. That way it'll give the most general information. So click find backlinks and then it'll send us all these backlinks that are out there. It'll also give us a little more information we can see that the citation flow and the trust flow are 21 and four respectively. There are 76 referring domains and 627 total backlinks. The reason why there are more backlinks than referring domains is some of those domains have multiple links going to the best roof box. So that is why. Basically, I am most concerned with 76. That is the number of referring domains and that seems most important to me. So as we we kind of scroll down, you'll see there's rich information and I'm very impressed with Link Miner overall. It's hard to put together software to go pull all these links. So we'll see, we got Eagle Home Roofing, there's a link there. Article City doesn't sound like the greatest place to have a link, but there's one there. There's a K-T-E-N, so K10.com that appears to be some sort of a press release. And you can see the anchor text right here. That's pretty cool. There's Camping Essentialist. That actually looks like a pretty good kind of link. Seems related. The hunting site, also a good one. Now, what you can also do is filter based on do follow or no follow. Do follow links are the ones that actually count. So those are the most important ones. And in that case, you could kind of get a better idea on the quality of the links. As I look through here, I see some of them maybe aren't the greatest. So Wilson Auto Detailing, to me, that doesn't sound like a great place to have the link from. It seems like it could be maybe a PBN that's a private blog network. So I'm just going to click this and see what pops up. So whoa, whoa, that scrolls fast. So I don't know a ton about this site, but it it could be an affiliate site. It actually looks a little bit, a little kind of like an affiliate site, maybe someone actually purchased an expired domain and set up an, an affiliate site. The reason why I say that is there's a top 10 detailing products of 2019 and some other items that make me think that it's not actually a detailing site. It's beyond the scope of what we'll be able to cover today, but I will go deeper into some of the backlinks in another video where I use hrefs. So keep an eye out for that. But I mean, this is a playlist. So there are multiple multiple videos covering a lot of different details on this site. By the way, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Just leave a comment. Would love to answer your question. So next part of the KW Finder suite of products I wanna go over is a site profiler. So it kind of gives you an aggregated view of a lot of the data that you can get from other websites. So it pulls together other SEO tools. You have the domain authority and the page authority. So those are metrics from Moz. The citation flow and the trust flow, those are from Majestic. 
And you can see the Alexa ranking is slowly moving up. That's great. There's 35 Facebook shares, which, you know, that's fine. You get the backlink profile. You can see there's quite a bit of growth overall. And the new backlinks as of the last four months, there's 627 and uh, a handful that were deleted, but sometimes those are just ones that don't get picked up whenever the bots go and crawl. Uh, the spiders crawl around and, and check the websites. We do see that the do follow links are roughly 68% and active links um, are 91%. So that's a good distribution. And we see there's quite a few text links, uh, like 56% and then 42% for the images. Typically, you're going to find text links. So I'm kind of surprised that there's that many image links, but it, that's the data that we have in front of us. You have a note for the top referring domains. So it's, you know, in my opinion, having a lot of blog spot referring domains is a little bit weird. That's not great. I would guess those are probably not high quality type links. You'll see some other kind of, I don't know, I would say not so impressive kind of links here. There's um, a news12.com. We have the K-A-K-E and other sites like we saw before. Those kind of make me think that this is uh, a site that had a press release done. Perhaps, you know, that's, I'm only looking at this amount of data that we've perused here so far. And I have a feeling there was a press release or something like that, something like that released. You can see the anchor text here and it's noted as branded, other, a naked URL. And you can see, you could filter on, you know, those different items. So let's just kind of see how many branded there are quite a few. Branded anchor text is really good in my opinion. That is probably, you know, the majority of what you want to have, you know, roughly 50%. Naked URLs, those are weird. I think those were done back in the day, but nowadays very few people do that. And you'll see there's only a few here. Not, not too many. Three referring domains for this one and two referring domains for that one. So five total. So not, not too many. And other is that's what you want to see. You want to see most of those links as other. So good to see that. And you'll notice this is a little funny that the anchor text is privacy and cookie policy. That's weird. Those may be internal links or something like that. Not sure why that's here. And the anchor text distribution branded is 55.93% overall. The top content is listed by Facebook shares and by referring domains. The referring domains is probably the most um, relevant as far as Facebook shares. I mean, I wouldn't expect most affiliate sites to get very many Facebook shares unless they have a very active community and very useful content. So overall, KW Finder is a fantastic suite of tools. I think the strongest tool is the KW Finder portion of it. The part where you find the keywords, that seems to be the most robust, and that is what I like. However, you can get functionality in the other areas, and that's why I was showing those. But typically, if you're only doing keyword research, this tool is well worth it. So don't forget to check out some of the other videos in this series. Again, I tear down a lot of this stuff on the best roof box, and I interviewed Alex to talk about the whole site and the whole process, so you can check that out as well. See you in the next video.